Hey guys, welcome to another video. This one's me trying to get a mostly full face with stuff from Sephora and Ulta. The only thing that's like drugstore is going to be Makeup Revolutions, the Emily the Wants palette because I do not have a Ulta brand strictly eyeshadow palette or anything from Sephora for an eyeshadow palette. So, yeah. I only have moisturizer on my face. And we'll start with Makeup Forever's um, aim it at the camera part. Smoothing Primer. Orangey tan for supplied. As you can see, I am suffering from a lot of breaks breakouts because I'm very bad diet and exercise wise this last month. I will get better. Some of the worst parts of the face. That I am not allergic to anything in it. Um, next I got this Sephora collection sample of foundation and I'm using the ivory color with Moda's little foundation brush. Foundation mustache. Let's see. Let's see how it does with those red demons. Yeah, not too bad. Not as good as if I use a corrector, but I don't have anything from Sephora or Ulta for corrector. Let's hope this doesn't oxidize on me. Because I don't want to look like a Oompa Loompa. primer underneath it but to be fair I'm not really a big foundation person so you know what can you do next taking Ulta Beauty's brand <laughs> tinted eye primer it's kind of this I want to describe it as a rosy color, but I'm probably wrong. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a color expert. Let's hope my eyes aren't allergic to anything in this one either. I've tried it before, so I don't think it is. But my eyes are very 
weird. And I'm also using um, Emily's palette because, well, I know how it performs for one. You can get it at Ulta. Or you could get it at Ulta. I don't know if you still can. And I know my eyes don't mind the shadows, so I actually have a base to know what it does to know if the primer doesn't work with my eyes. <laughs> because as you can see, that that's a lot for a primer to be up against. Going into Emily's primer with Moda's Emily's primer, Emily's palette, and taking prayer in the crease. First things first, the primer makes it feel a bit more tuggy. It, it makes it a lot more rough to blend. Now I know it's not the shadow or the brush because this is my favorite crease brush that I've found so far. It's still blending but I think it just has a lot more grip. eyeshadow primer under my eye. How how did I do that? I'm gonna take cupcake with a flat brush and Looks crocodile-y. Let me try with my fingers. Yeah. Um. The Ulta Beauty one kind of looks crocodile-y. It makes it look kind of like I put cream shadow on. I don't know. I like that, but. Oh well. I know it's really basic, but I don't want to do anything too wild. I guess I can't find my eyelash curler. That's fine, I'm not going to get up to go find it. See if I can get the Monsoor big mascara from like um, open. It was my birthday gift. So I'm gonna try it. It doesn't smell as bad as some other mascaras. This is its little brush. It actually looks like it's kind of turned at an angle. That's cool. See, I don't have a proper kind of camera to show you it. It really keeps my eyelashes separated, but it doesn't add a whole lot of curl. Well, it kind of does, but you have to layer it for any length. I don't hate it. I don't know if I'd pay the money for it and. Cat, cat. No. No. I love you, but no. Please don't. No. Okay. But I won't pay the money for it. What? 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 Here. 
They're gonna knock it over. Okay. What's going on? Ignoring the distraction. Like I was saying, I don't know if I'd pay full price for it. But I don't hate it. It makes my lashes pretty and we have a kitty guru. What? What? Yeah. I'm ruining the light, but I love her. She's gonna knock stuff over though. Are you okay? It's too far. <laughs> um. Next, going in with my little sample of the Anastasia Brow Wiz, if I can get open. And I do. It's not bad. I do like it. But I'm not going to buy the full version. Because I like the NYX one. And. And I'm not made of money. Right now. <laughs> you can just see my cat <laughs> in the mirror. Any kitty has to be involved with everything. She's the star of the show, don't you know? But yeah, I'm glad I got to try this because it did make me really fall in love with the color. And the slimness of the pencil but like I said I found the next one and I like the next one but I'm still gonna use up next I'm going in with Ulta Beauty's brow shaping gel and I don't like to have mine my hair is like going I like mine just to uh, stay the way they are, and I got that in my hair. Yeah, uh, look, the sits already poking through. I know they're hard to deal with, but really, good thing I have a little bit extra. I know this can be solved with concealer, but I only have the color correcting one from NYX right now because my color correcting one that I was using before will be ending up in the next video I'm going to shoot actually because I broke it and it's old, but mainly I broke it. Next, I'm taking Makeup Forever's little, what's it called, please don't spill, um, Ultra HD Powder. Um, this is the sample size I got in a kit, and this is hard to get off, so that's kind of, ooh, that's a lot of powder. <laughs> Face. Probably should have done that before, but I am new at makeup. Well, I've been doing it a while, but I'm new at trying like a full, mostly full face of makeup. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the foundation. But, yeah. But I actually.
actually do like that powder. At least right now it feels really smooth. Um, next I'm taking Ulta Beauty's little bronzer and highlighter. I do not like the illuminator highlighter, but the bronzer I'll be using as a blush is I do not have an official blush. Please don't look like a clown. Oh, that's bad. You want to take a little bit? I'm like why I did with that first one. Kind of build it up. Watch beauty gurus and practice, 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 and practice some more. Then practice even more because. You can't get decent at it if you don't practice. And then, because I do not have a highlighting blush, blush, oh my God. brush, I'll take this other Moda brush. This is not the brush's fault. I have used this before and it's just not a very good highlighter. Just see, nothing with that brush. Not much with finger. Just I get better from e.l.f., okay? Not dissing on e.l.f. I love e.l.f., but I get better with e.l.f. Next is my favorite lip liner. I actually bought the full size of this at Ulta, but I need to use this first. Is Buxom's little lip liner in. I think it's Hush Hush. Are you hush hush? Yes. Gonna put it on. Don't talk while you're doing it. Don't get on her teeth either. Next, I'm going in with Marc Jacobs Skin Deep, and I like this one too, but I don't want to pay that much for a gloss. I'm sorry. I am not made. Oh, it's so good. I am not made of money. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, that's it for this look. Um, first impressions are, I am not interested in buying the full size of that foundation. It seems to be a decent color match, considering it was just a sample, but... I just don't like how it lays on the skin. Just. Mm -mm. I know that could be the primer's fault too, but. I'm not a foundation person. And. It just. It, it doesn't. Look nice on my mostly kind of dry, crusty, over-texturized skin. Um, I also wouldn't recommend the Illuminizer for Malta, though the bronzer I don't think is too bad. 
Is it the most amazing bronzer? Mm, probably not. I don't try a lot of bronzers. Uh, I do actually like the shaping gel, but I don't know how it compares to a lot others because I'm newer to that. Uh, I'll have to wait to tell you about the eye primer. I'd have to try this foundation I like, which is kind of hard when I don't like a lot of foundation, so I can't really judge the primer. We can see how it makes the makeup wear the rest of the day, but I don't think it'd be fair for me to judge it based on foundation. I don't know how it works. The Anastasia Brow Wiz. I like it, but I already have my preferred one. Buxom. I think it speaks a lot that my first actual purchase, besides like buying the little sample kit this came from, was the color of this in the big version. I do like this lip gloss. I've worn it before. But I don't know if I could buy it full size. <laughs> Maybe if I have more money. Or wear makeup a lot more often. And I do like the powder. I don't know how long it'll help make this last. Or not. But it does make my skin feel smooth and I can appreciate that. So I guess I'll check in with the eye look later on and I can give you my thoughts. Guys, sorry to be in the bathroom with the bad lighting and the fan, but I need to be able to look up close. So, let's see. I see that, can you see it? My nose is starting to break apart. Right here, I can see. Uh, you can't see it. But I can see some of the blackheads showing through. And right here is starting to look kind of funny. Like, the only foundation is the foundation stuck in pores. Um, the eyeshadow is actually doing pretty decent. It's four hours in. So, like, there is creasing in the crease. But, um, that's actually pretty good. It's not quite as good as the Milani one. But, considering, like, what it has to go through, the four hour mark. It's not too bad. Um, the lipstick's about as much as lipstick would expect. I look kind of like a grease ball. And can't really see the highlighter, and I don't know if you can see the bronze or blush or not. But, you know, it's not doing too bad past me looking like a grease ball. I've repeated that at least twice, I think. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's it for this check-in. I'll see you in a bit. Guys, I'm going to take this stuff off a little early. It's been about four or five hours. Actually, let's see. I put on a... 11 something and now it's like four five is four or five it, it's been a while it's been a pretty decent bit of time and um, I just want out of my makeup so my final thoughts are I don't like the foundation it's just I look like a grease it. and I, I don't like looking like a grease pit. Um, the 
bronzer, I don't think stuck around. The highlighter, I don't think stuck around. Even if it did, you can't tell how greasy I am. Um, the eyeshadow primer isn't too bad. I won't mind wearing it again. Um, I don't mind the mascara, even if it's not my favorite one. I won't mind getting more trial sizes. And I won't say, hey, you'll regret this and you bought it. Because if you like what does, you like what does. And it's not, see a brow was, eh. I've already said my two cents about that one. I like the brow gel. I like the lip colors. And I think that's all I can really comment on. I can't really comment on the powder past I it, it stays smoothing but I don't think it helped keep the foundation on but it might not have worked just the primer too who knows they just might not have played together nicely or I didn't put enough of it on you know that happens I'm new at makeup so yeah that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you at the next one.